everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Today I wanted to show you the new Klek Foomph. Now Foomph is F-O-O-N-F. It's kind of a silly name for a convertible car seat, but this seat is no joke. It's one of the most expensive convertible car seats on the market, but for good reason, and today I'm gonna to show you why. First, it has the, a new REACT safety system, and REACT stands for Rapid Energy Absorbing Crumble Technology. And similar to a vehicle, it has a crumple zone that is designed to pretty much deform and crumple in a collision. So when you get into a collision, there is an aluminum honeycomb back here, and that is going to help the seat ride down the collision. So there's a series of events that will happen, and the energy will be absorbed by the honeycomb crumbling pretty much, so it takes away the energy from your child. So this technology, this is new. This is, this is really great because like I said, it's going to have the seat go through a series of events so that it rides down the collision to slowly you know, take away the energy from the child in the seat. So this is really hot. Plus the substructure is, has a magnesium and steel frame. This is a heavy car seat. I'm telling you, you pick it up, you're like, oh, I can tell the difference. There is steel in there. So it's a very heavy, solid car seat. Let's just go over the basics of the seat. There is an adjustable headrest and it has the energy absorbing foam in the headrest and throughout the seat. The headrest goes up and they've designed it like a vehicle seat where you pinch it and then you lift like you have, there's a pinch right here, and you lift it up to accommodate your child. It has the top tether, of course. It goes from 14 pounds up to 65 pounds. Now this is not an infant car seat. You cannot put a newborn in it. The child has to be able to sit up with, and hold their head up unassisted and be 14 pounds to ride in it. Now, it's rear facing, and it's a really good rear facing because it rear faces up to 50 pounds. That's the highest on the market. So if you want to rear face your child longer, which you should, this one is going to help you do that because 50 pounds, you can keep your child rear facing. Now it has, of course, your adjustable five point harness. You're going to have to rethread it. Another nice feature of the seat is it's skinny. It's only 17 inches at the widest point. And that means you're going to get three across in a sedan. And that's, that's important for people that have to bring three car seats for three different children. So it's a skinny car seat. You might not, it might not look like it, but I measured it. It's skinny. So it will go three across and it has a built-in recline. So when you have it installed, you can actually recline the seat when it's installed to give your, your child, you know, a more comfortable ride. One of the unique features about it is that it has a rigid latch. You're not going to see this on any other convertible car seat. Now this rigid latch, let me pull it out for you. There it is. That's how you're going to install it is this rigid latch. You pull it out and you're pretty much going to just push it right into your vehicle to attach to the latch anchors. Very easy to do. This is one of those car seats. You're not going to have to get in and put all your weight in it and try to tighten the buckles as most as much as you can. It just goes in with the rigid latch. It's super easy. Let me show you. Okay, so we're in my sedan. I wanted to show you in a small car. This is not an installation video, so I'm not going to show you how to install it. Rear facing, forward facing, with the seat, but without, with the latch, I'm not going to do that. It would the video would be way too long. The only thing I'm going to show you is how quickly and easy it is to install it forward facing with the rigid latch, because that's one of the most unique features about it. Now, you want to, oh, also, I know you're going to sit down and you're going to read every word of that manual of how to do it correctly. So again, not an installation video. Take out your top tether and attach it to the top tether of your vehicle. Then the hardest part and oh, I want to be honest, you can do three car seats in a row, especially in a sedan. They're 17 inches wide, so it's no problem. What it's going to be tricky is installing them all at the same time because you're not going to be able to use the middle one with latch because that's not how cars are set up. So you're going to have to install the middle one first with the seat belt. And then it's going to get trickier and trickier to get the latch lined up with a car seat already here. So it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering on your part. So while it's possible, you're going to have to work at it. So I've taken out the seats just for the video's sake to show you just how easy it is to do one. So you're going to take, make sure that your latch, the rigid latch is all the way extended. Then you are going to line up the latch pieces with the latch of your anchors. 
push it in like that. As you see, I didn't even have to crawl into the seat, put all my weight in it. That's attached. Then you're going to pull out the lever here, push it in again, snug against the vehicle seat like that until it snaps. And that's it. That's how easy it is. As you can see, I was sitting down. I didn't have to put all my weight in it. I mean, even grandma can do it once you show her. <laughs> there you go. It's nice and secure. Now once it's installed, what I love about it is that normally you have a convertible car seat and it's as upright as it goes. That's where it is. This one has a recline that you can do even when it's installed. You just pull out this lever here and you can safely recline it so your baby can, if your baby wants to lay back, you're on a long trip or for the older kids, more upright. And I want to give you a trick. Again, I know you're going to read that manual cover to cover. So you, to get the latch undone, there is a different a different lever you're going to pull. You're going to take off your um, top tether up here. If it wasn't so tight. <laughs> and then you're going to make sure the latch is fully extended. So that same thing, like that. Then you're going to pull out each side with these red levers on the side and that uninstalls it that easy not a lot of effort so what I tell you super easy right so you put in the rigid latch you can still install it with the car seat belt you can still install it um, if you don't have obviously latch in your car or you need to put it in the middle seat you can't use the latch it does take like I said a little bit of trial and error to get the latch in but that is a really unique feature because it's gonna make it very easy for pretty much anybody to install it you can rear face it and let me show you. It has a base and this is going to attach to the bottom. It has an anti-rebound bar that you put, like I said, it's a heavy seat, that you put here for when you're rear facing. Now there is a, something I did want to show you about rear facing and that's how long it is if you're putting it in a sedan. Okay, here's one more thing I want to show you outside in the car. Again, I'm doing it with sedan because minivans, SUVs, everything fits in those, right? A sedan is where it could be tricky. Now, I have it rear facing. Now, what you're going to be concerned about is how big is it rear facing for the passenger or the driver in front of them. And let me show you. Now, this is 34 inches from the seat until the farthest part. So I've measured it 34 inches. So if you want to measure your car and the seat, that seat is exactly where it goes until it can't go any farther. And that is perfect for me. I'm five, five. Let me show you. Okay. Like I said, I'm five, five. This is a perfect distance for me from the steering wheel. And the seat is as far back as it can go with the phone behind me. So if you are taller, let's say six foot, maybe your husband's really tall. You're not going to be able to put the phone in a sedan behind um, the seat if it's like this. This is the Honda Accord. So that'll give you a good indication. It's 34 inches from the back of the seat to the, where the car seat hits. But like I said, I have no problem driving like this. This, I just kind of wanted to show you that so in case you needed to put the car seat behind the passenger seat or somewhere else in your sedan. Okay, so like I said, you can rear face up to 50 pounds, 14 to 50 pounds. If you're using it forward facing, it goes up to 65 pounds. So this is gonna get you, you know, with the older kids, you're gonna be able to keep them in a five point harness longer. The seat sports a Krypton super fabric and that's gonna resist staining. It's gonna be easy to clean. The fabric is removable. Another nice touch is they have magnets on the side that hold the belts out of the way when you're putting your child in to make it easier. The seat retails for $475. Like I said, it's expensive. One of the most expensive on the market, but with that react safety system to keep your child safer and the rigid latch, it might be worth it for many families. So there you go. I love the fact that it's really easy to install. I like the fact that you can recline it even when it's forward facing. I like that they have, you know, came up with new technology with that, that honeycomb to like a vehicle with that crumple, crumple zone to take the energy away from your child in a collision and absorb it back there. So there you go. That's just my look at the Kleck Foom. And I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because you never know what I'm going to show you next or what I'm going to give away or maybe what I'm going to make. So there you go. I'm Holly Schultz. Bye.